Before I ask you, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening, okay. my brother? <laughs> Uh, hello, Allah. Hello, hey, buddy. Uh, hello, 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 hey, hello, hey, hello, hey, hello, hey, hello, 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 Sonsi. I'm gonna say out every uh, single nickname that he hates. <laughs> What's happening, Omar? You good? It's all good. It's all good. You're alive. How's it going with you guys? Well, listen, before, uh, before, before you give us an update, hold on, how about this? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is how early it is in the podcast, by the way. <laughs> uh, keep the best for first. Huh? Yeah, keep the best for first. Exactly, that's how it goes. Yeah. Buddy, we miss you. Yeah, we, we miss really you. miss you, man. It's been, it's been a long time since I saw you. I hope you do well. well. Yeah, how's fighting COVID? How's it, how's it going? Are you winning? Well, uh, well the, the pandemic invested house is... Uh, <laughs> Still pandemic infected. I'm 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 not happy. I'm not happy to say that. Oh my god, my bad, bro. Uh, but uh, you know things are moving. Things are moving. You doing good? Uh, inshallah, inshallah, khair, inshallah, khair. Khair, inshallah. Khair. Uh, a little Allah bit ups and downs with the fam. Allah uh, But yeah, we're powering through, and hopefully this is the peak of it, and I can go back to joining rejoining civilization soon. <laughs> And we can all leave our houses finally. Inshallah. <coughs> you tested negative three times right now, right? What's that? You tested negative three times right now, sir. Uh, negative three, yeah, three times. Yes, so negative far. is. Uh, do you know when negative is? Okay, I think you got something. Yeah, it's, good. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Depends on what negative you're talking about. Exactly. Here. You know, I'm talking about a specific negative. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, three Alhamdulillah. times. Last time, I think, was on. Saturday or Friday was on Friday, yeah. Well, man, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I hope the family is doing well. Rabbi Shalakum Sahar Salama. Hope everything is well. If you ever need anything, don't call. <laughs> don't, you know, like text and maybe something will happen. Like maybe, just maybe. As long as maybe. Well, listen, I wanted to speak about everything that happened in the capital, but since you're not here today, uh, we're going to push it till next week. How about yeah. that? You found it much better because I, yeah, I know because so, I know like you're itching yeah, in the corner great. right now, <laughs> waiting to do a podcast. Bro, like, <laughs> like the thing is, I've been I've been literally like doom scrolling for the past week, and the thing is, the doom is you just don't so good. Say. You know? Wow! Like we're, uh, we're not in the same <laughs> like, group with you, right? Uh, like we don't know what's happening. Yeah, so like, <laughs> y'all motherfuckers didn't the let doom. me sleep. We had texts. Like, the doom has been it's great. Ridiculous. There's been so much good doom. So. Wow. Crazy, so. Other than uh, that, Shamsi, uh, hold on, Shamsi, Shamsi, hold on, give me a second. Welcome to Pass the Gapsa. What's happening? Yeah, episode 28, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> we are not going to When Shamsi's not here, we're not here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. Uh, thank you for joining. You, uh, what it? you forgot how this goes? Yeah, it's been a minute. Mm. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah. He, he needs a refresher. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for viewing. Thank you for listening. I uh, hope you guys uh, had a great couple of days. Uh, we're having uh, technical difficulties right now. I'm just bullshitting. We have nothing. Yep. We have no topics. We have nothing. We're just going to talk uh, about absolutely nothing. So, Shamsi, you were saying? Yeah, so much good do. Okay. Uh, uh, how we'll have you been? Up, dude, we'll catch up. I don't know. I, I don't want to catch up. I want to know how you're spending your time at home back in quarantine zone. Uh, well, Other than listen, doom scrolling. Started, yeah, so when it started, I was, you know, doing different things, you know, I was reading, watching stuff, you know, occasionally very, very, rarely painting or drawing or coloring or whatever it is that I do. I uh, still, but I still haven't just, seen proof of that. Same here. Same here. I'm waiting, bro. I'm waiting. Uh, uh, yeah, I have we'll so much space on the wall <laughs> that I would like to put your artwork, <laughs> like a proud father. I <laughs> Amateur artwork, please. Amateur artwork. Uh, I oh, never, no, no trust uh, me. No. I never thought you were pro. No. <laughs> yeah, but since the weekend, it's been like literally since this whole shebang kicked off with the, with the capital stuff. Uh, it's been CNN and like Twitter all day, honestly. See, like you're, you're uh, I don't want to say blessed because mm. this is awful, mm. but like, you know, it, this came at a right time for you. <laughs> yes, yes. I had to request about the free time to process, study, analyze, and break this shit down. Trust me, I've noticed. <laughs> my, my, my WhatsApp notice also. Like, you know, like, yeah, like we, we woke up Turks at three o'clock in the morning, to be honest. Unfortunately, yeah. Of nonstop texting. But, 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 Y- y'all, y'all kind of have an idea of what's going on now, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll bring the full picture to the to the viewers. Yeah, 
viewers and subscribers. Well, every, every day something comes up. So uh, the longer that we push it, the more information we got. Acting like we actually give a shit. Yep. I'm here for the jokes. True, true. I, I, if you guys think I'm like, oh my God, look what happened. Nah, I don't oh. give a fuck, son. I'm here. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm here for the jokes. Yeah. Well, man, I hope you get well. Um, I don't honestly really care about your face right now, so I'm happy. But I hope you get well and we hope to see you soon. Appreciate it, homie. Looking forward to seeing y'all soon. Uh, you have been missed to reels. A few inches later. Okay, it sounds like you got something, bro. So I'll holler at you later on. Uh, no, yeah, no, he, he's got too many right. feels right there in his voice. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't feel comfortable with that. I need to leave the house, yo. <laughs> 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 been two weeks. Oh. Man, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, go walk in the farm. I mean, yeah. like you got space. I've you, done that already. You make God it. Damn. <laughs> You make it sound like you were stuck in a one-bedroom apartment, bro. Well, it is like... No, no. Look, there's a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. I heard a rumor that you installed a full kitchen in your bedroom. Mm. Is that true? Well, no. Uh, no, that's not true. That's not true? Well, no, I heard you yet. I heard your new chef just, you know, flew in. And, you know, since you're in quarantine, <laughs> you're going to be in your own place. No, no, we're still, we're, you're still, we're still interviewing. We're still All right, interviewing. Good, good, good. Did you spray down the yeah. Maybach? Uh, <laughs> we'll, let you, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll let you know when the, the team comes in. All right, just make sure. Make sure you spray down the phantom also. Yeah. All right. We're still we're still looking for a pastry. Look how he's avoiding me. Look at him how he's avoiding me. All right, homie. Hope you do well. Enjoy. You want anything? Enjoy, fellas. All right, bye, Enjoy. man. Boy, the last man, go away. All right, we're done with this. Woof, yeah. thank God. What's happening, Terry? Got that. What's popping? I know. That's, that's all I want. We gave y'all an update that we don't really care about. That's cool. What's happening? How are you doing? How are you doing, bro? Uh, me and DD, through the past couple of uh, days, have been on a nostalgic musical journey that I have really loved. We listened to Evanescence, Three Doors Down. <laughs> All right. I, I thought it was going to be like, you know, no. I went through this amazing journey of Three 70s and grace, 80s. All right. So, Event Sevenfold See, there's nice. some, some emo shit, nice. some metal shit, nice. and 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 sync. I love that. We didn't play in sync. You didn't play in sync. No. Second day we played Hoobastank. That was something we missed. All right. Remember Hoobastank? Nope. 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 Talk to your brother about. I'm that. not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. That, that was some fun stuff. I'm Would you guys come up with that then through your journey? Uh, I'm creating a, a nostalgic playlist I'm of not- of emo Turks back in the day. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Back in the day, it was yeah. like five years ago. No, I, I, I hung up my striped shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, my black and white striped shirt. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. it that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Legend. Poured down the mascara. <laughs> Man, I look forward to that yeah. list. Good times. That trash list. It is trash. No one cares about that list. It is really trash. Uh, did you see the WhatsApp update? Uh, I did. Okay, so what'd you know about it so far? Because I figured I found out something okay. new. I have no idea. Okay. What uh, I have been told is what WhatsApp told me. And I am not comfortable with it. So the second you open it, told you like, you know, no terms and conditions, agree. Yeah. And a, a big X button that I keep hitting. Like, nope, not today. <laughs> not today. You will answer this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you know why like, they made sure you answer? Because if you decline, your account will be closed. And I wait for that. You wait for that account to be closed? Yes. I am willing to bet that so many people are not going to agree to the terms and conditions that they're going to have to back up and go like, ah, right. you know what? We're not gonna so do here's that. the thing. So what I read, was that this is not new. They're basically just explaining what they've been doing since 2016. Oh. Yeah. That's basically what 2016? it is. 2016? Yeah, since 2016 or 2017. Something around that. Five to four years? Yes. Wow. They're just basically explaining to you more of what do they do. That's uh, it. It's uh, not a new it. policy. Uh, we've been doing this. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> I mean, you're cool? No. Now you're cool? No, no. Like the that. problem leaving WhatsApp is that basically anything that you order here, anything you want to do, you want to talk to companies like delivering your shipments, anything. it's all through WhatsApp. Anything. So you can't escape it. All the rumors come through WhatsApp. They that's, basically that's control everything up. Yeah. And then like, like hey, you have no choice. Because WhatsApp business has been amazing also. What was, what's WhatsApp business? You don't know WhatsApp business? No. So you don't sometimes send a message to a, a hotel or a company through WhatsApp? What? Oh, you don't know about that? Nope. So... You can open up a WhatsApp business account and there'll be a phone number that everybody can message and you reply through WhatsApp as your company. Okay. Uh, the first time I saw it was years back. I was in a hotel yeah. and the hotel had a number that said, you know, anything you need, you send this number. Is it an actual number? 
It's an actual like so phone you number. You can call it. Yes. So no, you can't call it. I think I think you can't call it. To be honest, I'm not sure. That's weird. But send a message to like you know get my car ready, everything that they do real quick, and they just do everything through the phone. That's okay. That's kind of uh, old school, I guess. It's it's been working for a while now. It's been yeah. doing great for a while. So now trying to escape that also, no one is going to offer you that service. I, I don't know if anyone else offers that service to be honest, but we all know just WhatsApp has control of everything. I don't know, man. I'm willing to jump ship anytime now. I'm already on Telegram. I've been using Telegram for like four years now. All right. I'm going to tell you how you're not going to jump ship. Uh, you can see right now, you're going buy. Yeah. Close my account. Yeah. Tomorrow, you order something that you want. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the problem. You get right the now. phone call, you know, send me your location. All right, I'm going to SMS it. Excuse me. No, no. What's happened yeah, to me? Ah, oh, man. Why, why do people don't like SMS uh, locations? I, I, I don't know. To be every time I order something, I, I tell the person, yo, I'm just going to uh, text it to you. No, WhatsApp. I don't want to do that. I don't want to add a contact for a person that I'm just going to send the location to once. Man, I've been doing that forever. It's it's bullshit. It's too much. Bro, I have DHL 1, DHL 2, DHL 3. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Now I start doing, if I'm adding a number and then I'm deleting it later on, I put like, for example, like, you know, DHL, delete. Oh, so ne- next time I just search for delete and I just start hey, going through uh, that. See, that's that's like the, why? why? Why do you have to do that? Well, there's an, there's an application that I have. I forgot what it's called that uh, you can whenever a number calls you and you want to, to share location, you go and you put share and you click on the app and it will automatically take you to WhatsApp with that person's phone number without oh, having so to add them. It's, a, it's basically a shortcut. Yes, basically. OK, interesting. Yeah. That's how you do it now. Yeah, but it's it's fan. <laughs> you're, you're kind of. <laughs> Like doing it the the wrong way around. Why do you have to do that? What's the solution? I don't know. Uh, uh, or, use, or what would you like to be the use solution? Use the address that I uh, have provided when I ordered the thing. Okay, it works for you, but the majority of people doesn't work for them. Some people, the, the addresses well, are trash. No, you can. You already got a national address that works properly. That is literally, you can just click it and it takes you to the location of your house in a grid. That is already like like government sanctioned and and like split up. I have property to property. Every single shipping company that I work with, I gave them my national address. They still call me asking for. Of location. course, yes, <laughs> which is bullshit. Which is something I hate. Which is something I'm trying my best to to fight against. But I mean, it's just <laughs> well, one person against the time. Do you bring them to work? Uh, sometimes. My, one of my boys, he always brings them to work. That's a good uh, thing. But no, at some point, I just want like, yo, just send it home. I'll call my brother. He's usually just like asleep all day. Oh, well, yeah, with, you, with your family. This guy is married. So yeah. He's like, I'd rather get in the office than having to rush home at 5 p.m. to make sure yeah, I get that's, there. Yeah, that, that's the problem. Yes. Yeah. I, I, have, I have the privilege of living with my parents. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> the privilege. Yeah. But, or, uh, or by force. <laughs> but no. I ask him to come to work and it's a site office and you got to get even better. access. And no, it's, it's You had a national address. You decided not to use it. Now you come to my office. Yeah, I, I, know, I know. But I'm in the meeting. I got to go. go. No, I got Aramex people just outside. No. Just punish them. I, I hate that. I will. I hate that. Well, good luck with that. Text. Thank you. There's all the solution. Thank you. But um, you're on Signal, aren't you? I don't know what that is. All that right. That toothpaste? Is. Yeah. I've been using that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know they had that chat platform. But uh, Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, I can't have a conversation mm. with you, bro. I'm on Telegram and um, WhatsApp, and I like Telegram because it's it's. I mean, I download a signal. Guess who came up right in front of me? Uh, Look, this is one dude. Every time I go somewhere and I add some application, I find him. Who? Chapsy. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's on everything. And yeah. I, like, like oh, oh man, I find this new application nobody knows about. Mm. Enter, put a username. The second, but add context. Sure, Chapsy. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you here? He's dry, just trying to secure his uh, his multiple <laughs> usernames. <laughs> well, he does have multiple usernames. Oh, oh well. Too bad for Shamsi. Uh, if you guys see McCaffrey, I'm sorry. Like, lately, it's been just ridiculous. I'm keeping it a two-meter distance. Oh, man, I think uh, this winter is really getting to me. Uh, what's the name? March 31st. Gates oh, open. Yeah. Saturday's ready to travel. Where are you going to go? Well, since the day after is April 1st. <laughs> I am very uh, cautious about answering that question, to be honest, because I feel like the rug is going to be pulled right under me. Well, look, I honestly, personally, I would like for it to be pushed back until June. From my own personal point of view. Okay. Well, what's happening in the world right now, we're hoping by March that things get better with the vaccines rolling out really, really fast. Mm -hmm. 
But just in case it doesn't, I think June is a great time. Because in March, everyone's still in school. And you got Ramadan coming up. Hey, relax. That, that's a good thing, because everyone's still in school. I get to travel. No families Where are, are out go? there. But that is a problem. Exactly. That is a problem. And this is why I'm saying it should be pushed back, because there's nowhere to go. Everywhere you're going, it's like nobody's, there's an nobody's outbreak handled. in every single corner. Exactly. The only countries that are like dealing with COVID as good as we are are uh, New Zealand. Maybe Australia. I don't. I don't even know. I don't know if Australia. Uh, Australia. The what's the name? Borders are open. Yeah, now. yeah. Those. Two. Yeah, but you have to quarantine once you come in. Man, demand. No so problem. you take a thirty-day vacation from your work. Two weeks you're sitting there in an office. I mean, sitting in a hotel. In a hotel. Then you get out for three days and you have to come back because you still have to do two more weeks over here. Nah, <laughs> I got to do two more weeks. When you come back no, here. No, no, no. I think it's seven. Uh, uh, I think the, they said two things. Days. Seven days or three days in a test after it. And if you're negative, then you can go. Yeah. So unless, that's you like want, four days. unless you go to one of the countries that have this new uh, strain of the virus, then you have to quarantine Which for two weeks. UK, us, South Africa. Where else? It was just a couple of countries. Yeah. And the, uh, like the, the, the memo that went out. I really hope it doesn't get mad. We don't need this man. But three to seven days with the test, you're good. And I think if you got the vaccine... Uh, I think I think things are going to be different when you get the vaccine. Oh, also, you don't need the vaccine for traveling. It's not mandatory. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. that. Yes. I didn't know that. It's not mandatory for you to have the vaccine if you'd like to travel. But you're going to have to quarantine. You're going to have to quarantine, yeah. But if you get the vaccine... Well, that's the thing. Mm. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. That's a very good question. Because they said by the second shot, you should be 90% immune. Just 90? 93 to 95, I think around that. That's, that's, the details got it better than that. I'm, I'm sorry. That's, that's a bit too much. Details been the game for a long, long time. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> but so it's, it's, it's not supposed to go into your system. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think someone discussed something about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Someone yeah. Uh, who's not in office anymore. I'm not going to talk about But it. it was like Clorox or some, mm. some trash like that. Can I we drink that? Can we? Oh my God, inject that. that. Oh my mm. God, man. Science. Uh, well, anyway, hey. if everything is doing going well, I think I'm going to sit my ass home in 2021. Oh, definitely. That's basically what's going to happen. Yeah. No, uh, things are going to be popping here. Yeah. You're going to have fun. That's what, what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping if everything, because so far, uh, alhamdulillah, our numbers are very, very low. All of our numbers. Yeah. And it keeps going down. And that's alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, ni'mah. And it's just my fear with the opening of the borders and people who are basically right now walking around as if nothing is going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's a worry for me. Like yesterday, I went to meet this dude at a coffee place. And when I got there, I got my mask and I walked in, almost nobody with masks. I know. Yeah. I've seen that. I it was scares like, me. Yeah, exactly. It so I don't know, man. I went to the zone on Friday okay. uh, with my family to have lunch there. And... I did not expect the, the zone of uh, the right? Yeah, 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 the big one, the nice one yeah, with the yeah, water yeah. fountain. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I'm just trying to tell people what it is. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I know what it is. Thank you. A, the zone. It's a public place. It's yeah, a, but it could nice. sound like a gaming place for oh, like you know. Yeah, true. It does. It does sound like a <laughs> yes. game place. Yeah. No, it's a it's a plaza with a lot of restaurants there and everything. But see, dude, this is why I, I can't describe it. Look at him. Crowd. It's a plaza. Yeah, the crowd, dude. It's 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 a lot of people. Yes, it's scary. Yes, but like I want to say, maybe ninety percent of them had masks on, which was interesting. But once anyone sat on a table, masks off. That's the thing. Yeah, like I I always sit outside. Did you sit outside? Of course. Yeah, I always sit outside. I do not even think about going inside. Every time I eat, I have to pull down my mask, <laughs> eat, and then put it back in. No, this is it's ridiculous. It's uncomfortable. It is. You know what I wish they could do? Yeah. I wish like for all these seating areas, it's keep it a limited seating. Yeah. At first, it was limited seating. Right now, everybody's just having a free fall. Oh, yeah. It was, it was so much. If you went to... I didn't go to you walk, but uh, I remember you walk on New Year's, packed. Yeah. The problem with U-Walk is it's just a strip. Exactly. And you got people walking. Like, yes. Like, Even though it's so wide and huge, but like, you know... Yeah, there's a path in the middle and everyone goes for that. I feel like I was describing Shamsi for a second. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get going. Let's go. <laughs> He's not here to defend himself, dude. Oh. That is the point. No, no, no. <laughs> Free shots. <laughs> oh, my God. That's fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm staying at home. Yeah. This is really getting scary right now. Tread lightly. 
That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. So uh, last week we talked about uh, the show that's coming on uh, Shahid. Rashash. Rashash. Yeah. So things developed mm. in the last couple of days since we talked about it, mm-hmm. or last week. I have no idea. So I asked how uh, I think her name was Sheikh Al- Sheikh Al Khalif. I think who uh, I don't remember the name, her name to be honest, but. I was like, how did she get that information? Mm. So it turns out that uh, what's name? There's a cooperation with the Ministry of uh, Interior. Okay. That and they gave them the information. Interesting. Yeah, for them to write the story, you know exactly how it happened, rather than you taking words of people and putting so things together. So they got like official documents yes, they got, stating they the got, story and everything. Exactly. They got approval. Though, okay. What happened was his mother made a complaint. Oh. His mom said that I didn't get any uh, what's name. No one asked me if they could uh, do the show. Is she asking for compensation? Exactly. That's that's what it sounded like. Does she own the rights uh, to the of, story of her yeah, life? Exactly. Well, well, it's a government case, so she doesn't own the story. It's a public. Yeah, but the story yeah. is not about how he grew up and how he was raised. The story is about at least that's what I think. None of us mm-hmm. have seen it yet, mm-hmm. but but from what I, like I know, not I know what I heard is that it's just a story about him later on in life, not the beginning of life. That's that's unorthodox. I, I think a lot of people like w- when when you make a show about a person, you kind of have to give a backstory and origin. Well, I think they'll give they'll give some like sort that. of story yeah. to it. I, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, but I don't think like it, 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 what's obvious they didn't sit down with the mother and have a conversation. Yeah, that's what's obvious. They didn't, they didn't sit down with the family. The family wasn't involved in it. Um, maybe they knew about it. Maybe here's the thing: we don't know what happened, but mm-hmm. this is the only thing that was reported. So they could have actually sat down and had a conversation. Okay. And said like, you know, we'd like to know more about his upbringing and so on. Mm. And maybe they just didn't want to cooperate. Oh, okay. You know? So we don't know, honestly. There's not enough information. Whoever put this news out didn't even like give us enough details. If they didn't cooperate, do you think they have the right to to claim uh, compensation? Or uh, whatever you want to call it. I don't think compensation is the right word, is it? Well, it is. They're looking for money for the story. Yeah. If they wanted money, maybe they don't want the story to be out. But again, I don't know. What's what's the, the rule on that? What's the law on that? I if I it's very, very hard. Who owns the rights to your story? Exactly. But again, like, like it wasn't about okay, I own the rights to my story. Yeah, but can a newspaper write about you? Everyone, if you're a public figure, yeah. Yes. Do okay, then that that there yes, if you're a public yeah. figure, yes. But at the same time, if someone's writing my life story, that's a different thing. You have to have information about my life story. Your sources are very important. Yeah, which is like public in libraries, I guess. Or no, not libraries, in ministries. You would not. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, I was about to say, like, you would not find my life story in a library. No, okay. Maybe, no. Uh, maybe you, under, like, no. you know, children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a Dr. Seuss book. Disabilities. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. So, if the story... He broke the law and it was a massive story. Mm. So the government has the story, has the right to the story. They can tell the people, this is what happened with this person. I think so. I don't know. I, exactly. I need a lawyer for this. Yeah, I'm trying to think about like other shows about like uh, public figures that broke the law. Here's the thing. In the in abroad, yeah. if you're a public figure, I can write anything about you. This is why, uh, what's the name? E! Entertainment and uh, TMZ and all of them get away with it. Yeah, but that's uh, that, that that's like reporting of what happened. No, I'm talking about a, a dramatized uh, TV production of your story, like mm. Narcos, like uh, American Crime Story. Uh, both seasons, like they had a season about OJ and they had a season about Versace, if I'm not mistaken. And Narcos uh, started with uh, OJ is a public figure. Yeah, and so is Versace. Both public figures. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Everyone you mentioned is a public figure. I just told exactly, you, as a yeah. public figure, you you have the and, right to write about and them. And this dude is a public figure too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But again, we don't know like what's happening in the middle between the family and Shahid. Mm. Did Shahid talk to the family? Now, that's very important. That is. Oh, didn't they have a show last year, Ramadan, about the dude that uh, went into Mecca with the... Uh... That wasn't on Shahid. That was on NBC. Yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah, I don't remember the good sh- point. I, I don't remember the yes, no- yes, yes. A good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't remember that. Then yes, okay. Well, 
Yeah, well, we're mentioning that. Pretty sure they didn't give him compensation. Honest, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. He's not here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, then, uh, okay, it falls in line. So, yes, you are allowed. I guess so. If, it's, if you committed a crime, or just like if you have anything to do with the government, you are basically can be a public figure? Technically. Technically? Technically, I suppose, yes. Welcome to the uneducational uh, yeah. and uh, uninformative uh, Pass the Cups of Podcast. This is the assumption. If you uh, are segment. a lawyer, please uh, reach out to yourself. So now, send <laughs> us an email. If you got, send, if you got any ideas. Send us that. an email at uh, Pass the Cups uh, at... Uh, what is it, AOL? <laughs> On uh yes sure on AOL sure. uh, sure. dot net. Well, uh, <laughs> not even the real AOL. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I I still I am really looking forward to the story. I really hope it goes through. I really really want to see this. Yeah, and I really hope it's a good story because I I'm not I don't think this this was this is disrespectful to the family mm. as a story. This is a very well known story. Yeah, and it was just like packed with a lot of myths. So, I I'm, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm looking forward to I it. I am not familiar with the story, to be honest. But, That's why uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward for everybody to see it. Uh, I'm more concerned about like the quality of TV production and how they're going to tackle this. Because if we get another like Maria Mercedes vibe kind of show, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They've done it before. So... My please, God, please, man. I can't laugh, bro. Please. T- like, step oh, your my game up. God. Mm. On to other things. Mm. So, electric cars. Mm. I think this year there's going to be a huge, huge shift that's coming. You don't say. So, we saw the Mercedes-Benz uh, MBUX uh, um, mm. books launch mm. or whatever it is. It's basically the dashboard of their new uh, car, their new flagship, the EQS. So, the EQS, think of it as the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, okay. but all electric. Nice. Okay. EQS. EQS. So they're just going to add EQ to any of their uh, like classes. I said I had a good point. That you didn't notice that? that. <laughs> I didn't notice <laughs> that. I didn't really go, but hey, okay. thank you. I appreciate okay. that. I appreciate yeah. that. Good yeah. looking okay. out. Good okay. looking okay. out. Okay. <laughs> just like syrup. Okay. Anyway, uh-huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think, so what I noticed about that video, Mm. Well, okay, let me just describe the screen real quick, then we'll go back to the video. Yeah. So basically, it's a 53 inch screen, not a big screen, just all around. It's going to have three displays uh, the speedometer for the driver, along with all this necessary information it's going to give you. You got your main dash screen that has the navigation, your AC, your multimedia, whatever you need. And there's a third screen for the for the, uh, did they say the co-driver? What do they, what they the call co-pilot. it? The co-pilot. The co-pilot, co-pilot or some crap like that. Which is basically, if you're a passenger, you have now the chance to actually inst- install your multimedia programs or whatever it is. And you can watch. Most likely you're going to have Netflix and everything on it by, the, by that time. Oh. And so you can stream and watch whatever things you have. You can plug in a USB and watch straight from your laptop okay. or whatever it is. You need to take a step back first and explain to the people that uh, they like put out a video only about that dash. Yes, right there. It, everything we talk about just a dashboard. Only, yeah, that's a it. Full video <laughs> with multiple people, so, like like an Apple conference kind of thing, just talking about the dashboard and how it's from one end to the other, all screen, uh, uh, like a very organic looking, like messed up screen, but it's still origami screen. screen. It, no, <laughs> fair enough. Okay, I'll give you origami. So. This screen is supposed to be something new. Anyways, it's something you're going to see, you're going to like, and you're going to enjoy if you have the car, if you can afford the car, and so on. Here's the thing that I noticed. What I noticed was Mercedes were acting like Apple. Yeah. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. The whole intro, the fl- the whole drone footage going into the building, and then people standing and like all these animations and talk about, oh, the new technology. The, what do they call it? The centralized pilot or whatever it's called? I don't know, man. Uh, Some bullshit. Exactly. They were selling themselves as a tech company. Yes. Not as a many car manufacturer anymore. Um, That's a step away from what they are. True. True. But I think they're selling themselves as an experienced company more than a tech company. Okay, they're displaying their tech, but it's most, most like more about the experience of the tech itself, which is also what Apple is doing, to Basically. be honest. Yes, yeah, they're selling you the experience. It's like we already have the cars. You already know the brand. Mm. It's a strong brand that's known for quality and luxury. 
yeah. and performance. And so now we're telling you we're also one of the leading people in tech. And you got to keep in mind that Mercedes, how many people are competing with Mercedes on the same like weight class? BMW and Audi? Almost, yeah. Maybe those three yeah. are, the, are the biggest names yeah, out there. Or the thing. same. The, the, the of same course, you can, weight. there's like on top of them, you can say Bentley is almost around them. Even though Bentley likes to think that it's close to Rolls Royce, but it's really not. But either way, you're you're talking about uh, like car manufacturers acting or learning from how Apple and Samsung and Google are battling it out exactly. with uh, like trying to win over the customer by giving you like explaining everything to you in videos and and like when you're sitting at home, exactly. you don't need to go to the dealership for them to explain and everything. No, you got everything right here. Because before you were right, you go to the dealership and then they'll tell you or you Google it online. Yeah. But now all of a sudden, you got this company that's speaking to you, marketing themselves to you mm. as something uh, new. So I think I understand that Mercedes looks at Tesla as a threat. Tesla this year they said they're gonna. Elon Musk said in an interview that he's gonna they're gonna uh, I think launch or announce the level five automation which is supposed to be the sophisticated AI and uh, machine learning and driving and so on and so on and so on and so on. It's basically what's going to take us to autonomous cars. So with them announcing that, and Mercedes and everybody else are now playing catch up, trying to be the all electric car, quick mm. charging and so on and so on and so on. I think there's going to be, the way that we see phones change from year to year, this is what I think is going to happen to cars. Oh. I think whoever, whatever's coming out now, I think in three years, it's going to be a major change. It's more about the tech and the, the, like, the design of the cars. Exactly. Rather the than... EQS is going to be released this year. Mm. It's they already announced it. I think sometime around maybe the summer or around maybe November, they're going to release it. It's already done. I, if you Google the Mercedes-Benz EQS, you can already see how it looks like. There's a lot of like spy footage for it and so on. Uh, I don't think it's very, very pretty, to be honest. But what I think is going to happen is that the interior of it is what's going to sell people. Then you also have a company called Neo. Neo is a Chinese company. Okay. Neo is a beautiful mix between Apple and Tesla. What? Yes. So Neo, like, offers you so many things. Oh, listen, uh, your battery is dead. We have a battery station, not a charging station. We have a battery station Ooh. where you go, they take out the battery like an old ass Nokia phone wow. and they put a new battery and you keep going. That's dope. They have these uh, these areas where it's like uh, hilarious though. like a Neo home or, or some crap like that. Yeah. Like offices where you can go and chill and do your work or whatever. They give you access to that. So there's While like, they're changing your battery? No, no, no. This is something totally different oh. from that. Oh. Yes. They okay. have like so many offers of what they You're can give you. Homies. Yeah, come over. They're trying to build the Apple ecosystem around their car. That's weird. That is weird. But it's also interesting because if Neo succeeds in China and starts battling out with Tesla, now the game is all going to change. Okay. Uh, first of all, I don't trust Tesla whenever they uh, announce anything. None of us do. I'm still waiting for the Roadster and for the Cybertruck. And I for think the Roadster, else. I think, got pushed back till like 2022, 2023. Or something. Yeah, they've yeah. been pushing it back since yeah. since they announced it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, they're not gonna they're not gonna come out. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a dream. It's supposed to be 2020, but yeah. it's in the best you have. But they're doing a good job of like pushing the market into innovation and and going all electric. So they're kind of like. We're still giving them credit able. for the things that they've been doing for a while. True, but all right, that's it. We already know that that's their credit. They're basically influencers. Okay, <laughs> that, that, that's what they do. Okay, <laughs> and when it comes to uh, this new company you just told me about, Neo, 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 the idea behind the Apple ecosystem is that you are carrying around or like you you own most of those uh, devices. Okay. That are Apple uh, manufactured, which kind of uh, provides you with Oop, don't about that again. I know. Uh, it provides I you that more. that connectivity and and uh, that ecosystem. You get to utilize that ecosystem when you have more than one device, more than one of their products. With Neo, it's a car. What are you gonna have it like? Wh what's the ecosystem gonna be connected to? The office. That's that's one weird thing. That's very like out there. You're talking about. Uh, your mode of transport and your workspace. 
they're not gonna have a Neo phone, I assume, or a Neo. I know. I don't think so. No, I don't yeah. think so. I don't think it's gonna be. What that are far. they gonna connect? But to? right now, what they're doing, what they're offering as a car company, um, repairs at home. If there's anything wrong with your car, they come to your house and they fix it there. Okay, there are companies that do that. Already. Yeah, um, they as a no as a manufacturer, no one does that. But as a everyone comes, yeah, you know, dealership will come take the car and bring it back to service. Yeah, no, no, they'll come and service the car. Oh wow, like a an yes. F1 team, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Wow. At your house, right, your work, whatever you are, they can come and do maintenance for you all the time. Okay, so they're cool. offering things in terms of packages for you as a car owner. Okay, so that that feeds into the conversation we had a long time ago about you know cars being memberships mm. that you'll own a car. Well, Tesla does it right now. If you want the autonomous driving, you pay extra for autonomous driving. Okay. And they had a lawsuit a couple of years back where this guy sold his Tesla to someone else and that guy bought the car and has autonomous driving and it got disconnected. So when he oh. called Tesla, they're like, oh yeah, you're not the owner of this package. You have oh, to buy bullshit. this. Yeah, you don't know about the story? That is bullshit. Yeah, and there was a huge lawsuit for it. I think the guy won it. I think they gave it back to him or something like that. So it's a service, basically? Exactly. It's not the product. This is what cars are going into that, especially electric cars. They're all going into that whole membership service thing where, yeah, okay, okay this is how you need to think about it. As a car manufacturer, when I sell you a car with an engine running mm-hmm. that today, mm-hmm. I know they need to come back to me for spare parts. They need to come back to me for services. Mm-hmm. Correct? True. Now, with an electric engine, you do not have those problems. All you're going to have is tires and brakes, maybe rims. Mm-hmm. And God forbid you get into a car accident, you need a new door or hood or something. Yeah. You're not coming back for services. So I need to find a way to generate money from you the same, same way I was making money out of you through services. Oh, those assholes. See? Oh, that was smart assholes. This, this is why people are like, you know, eat on must. I'm like, yeah, do you guys see between the lines? <laughs> They're like, you're still a business. Okay, interesting. So they're going to start selling you memberships. Now, what these memberships are going to be, I have no idea. Apple now is lining up with Honda. They're, they're in conversation. still early stages. Yeah. You know, they're just, you know, testing the waters. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay. Little walks on the beach. But Apple and Honda, that doesn't mix. Hyundai. But yes, that doesn't mix even worse. Anyway. Well, again, uh, it's a company that's usually backed, and okay. so I think they can pull something off. Yeah, um, from like uh, corporation-wise, they might actually mer- like that they, they click together. But product-wise, I don't really compare Apple to Honda, to be honest. I, I don't compare Apple to Honda either. Yeah, but I I don't know how that relationship is going to be. Is it going to be us as Honda? We, we get you the engines, the electric motors, and we set up everything else. We do the building, but you give us the design. Ah, uh, okay. You know, what kind of partnership is it going to be? Okay. Like, for example, there's a car, the Toyota BRZ. The car, you'll find it at Toyota and Subaru at the same time because it's a collaboration. Okay, interesting. At, uh, it's a BRZ and Subaru, and it's an FT or FJ or something uh, like that at Toyota. Same car. Uh, Engine made by Subaru, body made by uh, what's the name? Car company is doing collapse now. Yeah, stuff. this is for a while. Wow, yeah, okay. this is for a while. Okay, because people are going broke, dude. I can already see like Apple getting pissed off at Hyundai and making their own engine, <laughs> like, like they did Intel with the M1 chip. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. gonna have an uh, what? It's gonna be the C1. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's some bullshit. Okay, I can see the future. So I can, I, I can see Apple doing the software for it, and then Hyundai just doing you know the. The assembly. The assembly and spare parts. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anything that you can't see might be done by Hyundai. And anything you can see will be, be done by Apple. Apple yeah. Hey, yeah. we just solved everything. Yeah. Apple, you don't need to hit us up. Just send the check. Exactly. Timmy, <laughs> send the check, Timmy. <laughs> we got you. No need for a presentation. <laughs> Even Jamsy agrees. Oh. Go ahead, Jamsy. That's my homie right there. That's my homie. Uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> so I think that is going to be very this year I think it's going to be very interesting looking at electric cars. Now with that that takes us to Neo. Oh so, yeah. So one of the reasons why we're late today and recording why you're going to see this like tomorrow on Monday even though this is Sunday uh is because we were waiting for the announcement of the master plan for Neo. Neo is an amazing uh, new city in the northwest. Is it in the northwest? Yep. Yep. And uh, it's going to be a futuristic city and today they announced the line Go to neom.com if you guys want to see the full details. We won't really get into that. But the reason we're shifting to this conversation is because even when it comes to autonomous cars, we had this conversation about the architecture of a smart city and how 
there's going to be no cars in it where everything's going to be autonomous. Everything's going to be ready between each other. I told you. And that's something that was announced by the crown uh, prince, uh, his own highness MBS, about how it's going to be zero emissions, how it's going to care about Everything is going to embed itself into nature. Is that what it is? I think so. You're yeah. an architect. You know these yeah, things. Yeah. Zero cars, zero roads, uh, zero carbon emissions. What did, it, did it say like five minutes from anything Anything that's necessity that you need is five minute walk? Five minutes away. Yeah. Five, five minutes, minutes away. And you can get from one end to the other of the line in 20 minutes. So the line is 176 kilometers. Is that it? 70. 170 kilometers. Yeah. So 170 kilometers. You're going 20 minutes from one side to another. So since it is a line, yeah. So most likely it's gonna there's a metro that's gonna cut right through it there's, or a subway underground. Yeah, there's a there's a subway, uh, two floors below the ground. Remember when I told you about layers in a city? Yes. When I told you like, <laughs> okay, you're gonna have a layer up top where you have pedestrian life where you walk around, and then the cars are gonna be at the bottom layer where nobody can see them. Like the Charles Day. Like the movie Her. Like um, the show <laughs> Westworld. All right. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> but uh, so that's the. the Chance really? Happen? I remember the gas station is in the Chance I think it's at the bottom. You go in under to go to a gas station. Oh, I could be wrong. Okay. I, I didn't go there. I think I think. Isn't I heard that what uh, Elon Musk is trying to do with the the boring company? The to- the tunnel. No, that no, that was a different thing. That was he made a tunnel yeah. where you go in with your car and you just stay there and it just blasts you to the other side, and then lifts you up. Oh, okay. I don't think that one's going to go through any Yeah, it's, it's just a, a flex move. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not even working you properly. Call the company the boring company. The boring but company. But anyway, uh, with Neom, you got the pedestrian uh, layer. Okay, so it's going to be subway. No. what the At boy, the bottom. No, start up. Oh, uh, you're going top, going, okay, yeah, yeah, top yeah. to bottom. All right. You got the pedestrians where you walk around, zero roads, zero cars. And then the layer after and like underneath that is services. And I think it's going to be autonomous vehicles that just provide all services, like going one way to the other. Tra- think about goods and waste movement, basically. Okay. And then, and deliveries and whatnot, whatever. Uh, How do you structure that? You can, you can especially with uh, autonomous uh, vehicles, because you can actually, like. The- but the idea, how are you going to structure, like, basically, unless it's going to be like squares, like Barcelona? Mm hmm. Where it's gonna be every square has everything in it. I think that's that you what, don't that you don't need to walk to the other side. Uh, you lost me. What are you talking? So about? if pedestrians are gonna be here, and then services is gonna be right under it. Yeah. And then the subway is gonna be under that. Yeah. So the services is basically gonna be the street, right? Basically, but no cars. No, forget yeah. cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So think of it as um. Have you ever seen those uh, automated uh, Amazon warehouses? Yes. Where you got those robots that are just taking boxes from one end to the other. That, I think, is what is expected from that services level. So then what is pedestrians? People walking. So what Enjoying wa- nature. So, so I can't walk at the bottom also? No, why would you go down there? It's services only. Okay, so services is supposed to be also underground, you mean? Yeah, yeah underground. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. So yeah, 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 misunderstood, misunderstood. Uh, All right. So basically, on Earth... Yeah, on Earth are people. <laughs> yes. People. And the and first robots, layer... <laughs> and then you got a bullet train that takes you from one end to the other. All right, and then Skynet. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Terminators. And then, exactly, yeah. as you go down. By level. Yeah, by level. By level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it looks Ooh. dope, man. It looks really dope, and I think it's exactly what you said. You got squares coming up there in in like the line itself. You got uh, so basically think of it as one connecting spine, and then you got one hub every I don't know how many kilometers. Where so it's gonna be like almost like <coughs> a bonsai tree. What? Selik. What? Selik, Selik, Selik. Okay. Did you see Cobra season three? I just started watching it and I'm hating it. Yeah, yeah, it's not that great to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I went through it a minute. I'm sorry for shifting the subject. Are you were saying? <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Yeah, it's not that great to be honest, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, so well, basically, it's going to be like a straight line and then these squares are gonna be, not going to be next to each other. They might be just a little bit separate from each other. Yeah, maybe. So, so it'll be like one here, one there. Okay, 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 yeah, so yeah, yeah. So and everything, think of it as a, as a five minute walking uh, radius. Basically, that's your square. And then how many are in the spine? A five minute walk is a walk. It is a walk. So it, yeah, you expect a lot of buildings. Yeah, so of, how big is it going to be? That's a question. That's a good question. How many people is it going to accommodate? That's another question. What is the demographic? That's yeah. the question. If it's gonna be if it's gonna be skyscrapers, 
I don't think so. But I mean, with a smart city, you'd expect skyscrapers. Exactly. But with what they're trying to do with um, preserving nature and not disturbing the site itself, I expect maybe a couple of skyscrapers here and there just to enjoy that view. But I don't think they want to disturb that that like um, that landscape. What what's the problem with skyscrapers other than you know shadows? It's not shadows. It's when you go out and look into nature, and then you have a building just sticking out. <laughs> it kind of disrupts the mood. So I think. All right, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. You, you, you no, no, no. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see. I That's see. why I think they're gonna go with um, yeah, the high rise, but not skyscrapers. High rise are about like nine floors, something like that. No, no, they go higher than. They're gonna floors. go higher, yeah, but. So nothing like around like anything around calf. Mm, not the I'm big not buildings sure. in See, that's the thing I'm not sure when I think about those hubs and that everything you need is going to be in that like five meter uh, yeah five, then yeah you, you can't know, I meter. can't you're right when you describe it that, that way I can't see skyscrapers in it so I don't know I, I have no idea but that's apparently all the details are going to come out soon I, I think yeah, yeah, exactly that's what yeah. uh, what designer said yes uh, the, what's the name uh, they're going to be keeping announcing every now and then about what's happening I heard I heard a lot of rumors about those uh, projects available there. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. Okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. I, th- I saw that they broke it down into four uh, areas in Neon. You got the coastal uh, area, the the desert coastal area, the mountains, and then the valley, which is, I think they're gonna have like a lot of fun just playing with that sandbox. You got a lot. I of- want a house. <laughs> okay. I told you about Neom okay. I th- what th- three months ago True. I told you I need a house yeah. in Neom either it's gonna be a summer house or a retirement home a dollar a day can feed <laughs> a kid in Africa but it also if we all collect it together we can buy we can buy Adela house <laughs> we can buy him a plot <laughs> a one by one plot yeah. a one by one plot oh. I thank you guys for y'all for all the help <laughs> You know, I couldn't have done it without you. You guys are always more than welcome to look at it from outside. Uh, <laughs> not even coming in. No, no. Don't even ring the doorbell. Man, I will call the cops. Uh, <laughs> I will snitch. Wow. Snitch. Yes, I did. Mm. <laughs> hey, that's that's my meme. Okay. Oh, my God. I love that. But mm-hmm. anyway, I really look forward to it. I hope it gets built really, really soon, to be honest. I really look forward to it. Because I think whatever's going to happen in that city, they're going to implement it, everything else. That's that's a good idea, too. Yeah, I think it's it's supposed to be like a, uh, not a case study, a um, a prototype city. Prototype city, that's right. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's right. Anything that is implemented there that works in a way that uh, exceeds expectations, that can be implemented in any existing cities, they're definitely going to do that. Neom, if you're looking for an architect... Uh, yeah, hey, please hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you want someone who cares about the future, I do, and wants to really look forward do. to something nice and uh, beautiful and uh, yeah, I don't amazing. I don't need a paycheck, just a house. Exactly, just and house. if you hire him, I basically got a free architect to make me my new house. Okay. I mean, like I just okay. save money. You get someone good, I save money. Wow. I mean, come on, it's a it's a, it's a WW all I know, around, man. I know, I know. I swear all, to all God, W's are yours, but yeah. <laughs> It's all personal W's, <laughs> but it's, it's still a W. True. <laughs> it's not yours. True. It's mine. <laughs> so self-centered. So oh man, <sighs> you gotta be self-centered sometimes, man. I know. I know. Yeah, I love me. you gotta love yourself. Mm. That's what love yourself actually means. People don't understand it. They think you know, just you know, you don't hurt yourself. No, no, no. Like you know, be an asshole to other people True. for yourself. True. If if I learned anything from knowing you all these years, is love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> by that I mean fuck the other people <laughs> exactly uh, oh my god funny. man this is uh, Turk's way of saying you're an asshole yep. <laughs> that's basically what he's saying mm-hmm. well it's been amazing I really look forward to what's gonna happen in Neom to be honest mm-hmm. I really really look forward to it I really hope it's just as amazing as, as they said I can't wait to see it I don't see at first I was afraid it's gonna be this huge major city and in my head I was like what's the point we already have so many cities around. Mm. The only thing that would drive me there would be, well, of what I thought it was going to be, was that maybe the weather. Because uh, the weather is amazing. Yeah, true. But you already got uh, some cities established there. But if you think about Neom as uh, uh, what it is going to be and what it is going to provide for the other cities, 
that is that that, that is something. That, now with that announcement, yeah. now it gave me a better perspective of where it's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll really look forward to it. Mm. Higher Turks. <laughs> you want anything? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you're that way. I don't know. You've been like snacking like hell. You want me to order your food for you? Thank you. No, thank you. Yo. I'm trying to watch my Chef. Wow.